As the country commemorated Juneteenth, volunteers in Tempe dedicated the newly recognized federal holiday to helping people in need. Cronkite News reporter Gianluca D'Elia takes us to Tempe's Juneteenth Day of Freedom, where COVID vaccines were distributed. Some Maricopa County residents celebrated Juneteenth by getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Street Medicine Phoenix and the University of Arizona deployed more than a dozen volunteers to the Salvation Army in Tempe to help the homeless population get their shots. Members of the team say some of the area's most vulnerable populations have been hesitant to get vaccinated. The, the largest issue that we have had thus far is individuals unfortunately having certain misconceptions or doubts about the vaccine and it's sometimes very difficult to either persuade them or you know drive them on the other side of the fence to actually take the plunge and be protected. This Juneteenth celebration was all about community wellness so organizations from all over Maricopa County provided free resources like food, toys, a clean shower, a free haircut and toiletry bags like this one. Organizers said their goal was to improve the mental health of people experiencing poverty in whatever way they could. We really want to exemplify what Juneteenth is all about. Uh, it was much, much, more, much more than a day uh, that just freed those who were enslaved. It really put a staple on the morality behind enslaving human beings. And it also was a collective effort really to free uh, the, you know, the mental unwellness of people around the world. Since January, groups like Circle the City, working in partnership with Maricopa County, have administered the vaccine to some 4,000 people experiencing homelessness. A lot of the work right now is just really making sure we're informing people, really giving them as much detail as possible, having conversations with them um, about what the vaccine is and its safety. She says community events like this are one of many ways to improve access. Reporting in Tempe, John Luca D'Elia. Cronkite News. The CDC says people experiencing homelessness face a higher risk of COVID-19 during the pandemic. Maricopa County has dedicated more than $17 million to help those without housing.